we have often vocalized concerns on Malta's governance and allegations of corruption. Do you feel that such criticism places Malta in a bad light? And does it negatively affect Malta's credibility in the European Parliament and other institutions? Yes. Um, let's start by saying that in the European Parliament, the majority of issues we have in front of us to vote upon, um, we agree with the, with the Labour Party co um, colleagues, of course. But then there are some issues when it comes to uh, um, speaking about and uh, about the uh, institutions in our countries, corruption. Um, of course, the European, the European Parliament institution is ours. Um, I don't consider the European, inst the European Parliament institution as it's, it's theirs. I voted in favour 16 years ago, proprio um, today, uh, so that those institutions would become mine. I'm elected in the European Parliament not to defend the Prime Minister or the government. They are not Malta. Malta is the farmers, the workers, the doctors, the nurses, the students. So this, this thing that by, when we attack um, a, a bad situation in Malta, a corruption in Malta, you're attacking Malta or the Maltese is incorrect. And I'm not the only one, uh, um, the only MVP who does this. I, you have Anna Gomez from the Socialist Party. She attacks the, her, their own version of the passport scheme in Portugal. You have Sven Gigos from the Green Party. He's all the time attacking the money laundering in, 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 in Germany and German banks. So this is something normal. Uh, we, 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 we have to have proper institutions here in Malta. And in fact, now they are changing some of the, of, 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 of the, 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 the way how they operate because we, we, we insisted with the European uh, Commission that things need to change. Uh, we, if, if there's a, a problem of corruption, of course I have to fight it. I can look the other way around. Of course, I can ignore all this. But I wasn't elected to do this. I was elected to defend the Maltese people, to stop people being being uh, robbed, okay? And then there's another thing. Um, if I go to the European Parliament to speak about an assassination of a journalist or to speak about better media freedom, is that doing something wrong, okay? And Joseph Muscat, when he was an MEP, he used to use the European Parliament to criticize the government on the implant of Santantin, for example, on the waste waste implant of Santantin. So was he a traitor then? No. So if he wasn't a traitor because he was attacking the government of the day about something which he thought was wrong, so I should do the same. And I am proud that I have stuck out, stood up and be counted on this issue. I will always, always attack corruption and I will do all in my power to make sure that our institutions are, remain democratic. So this is why I was elected and this is why, what I will continue to do. On other issues, I work together with my neighbor colleagues. Uh, Alfred Sant is very active in economic and monetary affairs and he does an excellent job there. We don't agree on everything, of conclude, course. Of course. And on social affairs, I know that he has this issue at heart also. So we, we, we agree on a lot of things rather than we don't agree on, a, on everything. So that's a misconception, I yeah. think. That's a good message to put across that you're working together. Next up is... Uh...